Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about rule-based classification in the subject of data mining. So um, in this video I'll tell you what is rule based classification and with an example and what are the different methods we have and all about rule based classification okay so let's get into the video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and also share it with your friends let's get into the video now it uses set of if then rules for classification rule based classification is nothing but you'll be classifying the data into different number of categories based on the rules okay that is called as a rule based classification and here the rules which you use are if then rules okay so here you will have three important keywords if and then okay so and is optional and you don't find it in all the uh, you know rules but if and then will be in all the rules okay I'll tell you with an example so if the condition will be specified then the conclusion will be specified so for example if a is equal to true then print high like this so if a condition then a conclusion got it so and this if part is called as the rule antecedent or precondition okay it is called as a rule antecedent or precondition the then part is called as the rule consequent next for example if age is equal to youth and student is equal to s then buys computer is equal to s see here we have and why because here we have two conditions condition number one is the age should be equal to youth and also the it, it the person has to be a student since we have two conditions we have and if we have one more condition you can write one more and and you can uh, you know continue the condition got it so now here this up to ha and all, all this part is called as the rule antecedent or the precondition this then part is called as the rule consequent got it now so rule based classification can actually be done in so many ways but here like we can do it with the help of decision tree we can do it with the help of different classifier algorithms and so on but here in this video let us see how we do it with the help of a decision tree so in with the decision tree it is nothing but you will have a decision tree like this you will also you will be having a predefined tree like this and from this tree you will be generating the rules okay so you will be extracting the rules from the decision tree from root to leaf i have written here why because the rules should be extracted from the root to leaf that is you have to start from root and go to leaf that is each and every node should be covered while you are extracting the rules got it so here what rules you can extract if outlook is equal to sunny and humidity is equal to high then play is equal to no okay outlook is equal to sunny and humidity is equal to high then play is equal to no this is one rule and if outlook is equal to sunny if outlook is equal to sunny and humidity is equal to normal then play is equal to yes here if outlook is equal to overcast then play is equal to yes since we don't have two conditions here you and is not required okay and is not required here rain all like that you can extract the condition if outlook is equal to sunny and humidity is equal to high then play is equal to no based on the decision tree which we have drawn based on that tree we are extracting the rules and we can extract and so on up to many rules how many ever rules are possible with the tree those many rules you can extract got it this is about the rule based classification so that's all for this video thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in the video let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic